the will. Winner go home from this point on, and we begin with Army West Point controlling the tip. And we are underway here, quarterfinal action of the Patriot League Championships. Lehigh starts off in a man-to-man -man defense, and I think right on through, but missing was Caldwell, and Lehigh will have their first possession. A student section that has not been seen in quite some time. Of course, no students allowed last year at all. See if that plays a factor. Jamara Wilson gets the scoring started. You want to get things going early and quick here because the momentum that the fans give you will want to be, you want that on your side early. Rucker short, defended by Evan Taylor. And Taylor picked up a loose ball. Lehigh has it. Tyler Whitney Sidney, one of two Mountain Hawks on the all rookie team. Keith Higgins, the other one, he had it. A feed inside to Wilson. Try to take advantage of the height advantage. And Merrill's two for two. They go right back at it. Any kind of mismatch they want to utilize. 4 0 start for the Mountain Hawks. Army is 0 for 2. Duhart gives it to Peterson. Hand off to Rucker. Drops it off to Peterson down low. In and out. And Army's still looking for their first basket. And Lehigh gets the possession. That was definitely a makeable shot by Peterson. And a great setup by Rucker. He's known for his scoring, but definitely able to find the open man. Army will put some pressure on the inbounds. And in the backcourt, as Higgins is trapped in the corner. Still a couple seconds to get it across the line. They're able to do so. Jamero Wilson can't get the angle that time. And Army, again, looking for their first made bucket. Interesting to see such a full court press this early on. Peterson has it. Outside to Duhart, around a screen. 13 on the shot clock. The defense here by Lehigh. Duhart's going to be short, but the follow through is good for Josh Caldwell. And they cut into the lead. 4 that's 2 Lehigh. That's why it's so important to box out your man, even if it looks like the rebound's not going to you. Let up a free bucket there. Evan Taylor has it on the far side. Up top to Lynch. Here's Higgins. Pull up jumper in and out. He had Lynch off the roll as well. He decided to take the pull up. Something he can make. Rucker. Four straight for Army, and we're tied. Rucker, such a fast player. He gets up and down that court in just seconds. Someone that we see last time especially was able to score in with ease on Lehigh. Tyler Whitney Sidney pull up in the paint. Nice body control. Lehigh back up by two. Do hard in the paint. Drops it off to Peterson. Dan tried the awkward angle. Did not fall. Credit Tyler Whitney Sidney. We call that reverse defense. Playing with your back to the defender. He did all he could, <laughs> and it was enough. Lynch tried to almost tip it up. Tyler Whitney Sidney wanted a foul called on his team uh, for his teammate. Here comes Army. Looking for the tie. Does not fall from Caldwell. And Evan Taylor has it for the Mountain Hawks. See, Lynch down low has the mismatch. Now it's back. Wilson got it from downtown. Man, is he feeling it early on? Fueling off this crowd. Seven points for Jamero Wilson. Nice drop off down low. Man with the finish. Talk about communication. Just knowing his teammate was right there and cutting at the perfect time. That's something that Army is really good at, by no surprise, are those high IQ plays. What a great feed by Aaron Duhart on that one. Jamero Wilson shooting. And has a chance to get to double figures already. 10 of, or 9 of the 11 now, 10 of 12 as he hits the N1. Some early veteranship going on right now in this game. He averages just 11 on the season. And just a few minutes in, across the 10 point mark. Army with the basketball. Rucker drops it off down low. 
Matt Dove is in there. He lost it. Picked up by Caldwell. Tries to go in. The foul on the rebound as A.J. Allen spot. Right now, Rucker's doing an excellent job at penetrating the defense. And what that does, it keeps the defense, keeps the offense, excuse me, keeps the defense on their heels to find the open man. It's a jumper from Rucker that was no good. Save from going out of bounds by Tyler Whitney Sidney. The foul was on Evan Taylor a moment ago, his first, the team's first. Higgins near side for three, off the back iron. Five minutes gone by here in the first. Allen Spock down low. Near side, three ball in and out from TJ Small. Out of bounds, it stays Starmy. Wilson's playing excellent job down the post as well, keeping his strength and using that strong body to not let anyone post him up right now. Inbounds was to Dove. Caldwell and Rucker. Turn on jumper's gonna be short. Got his own rebound behind the back pass, but out of bounds it goes to Lehigh. <laughs> to have the cuts to even try that behind the back pass, that's confidence. You mentioned before the teamwork, knowing your teammates. And it would have been great, <laughs> but out of bounds it went. Come playoff time, that's really one of the most important things, having that chemistry with your team. Lehigh has been on a nice two-game win streak, three of the last four as of late. Whitney City, the no-look pass. Here's Taylor. A kick out, extra pass. Back to the corner. No good. Good possession, moving the ball around well there. Fortunately, he couldn't connect on it for the Lehigh Mountain Hawks. Into the corner, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Army. We've really seen, at least as of late, the sense of urgency that Lehigh's been playing with offensively. Earlier on when they had those struggles, a lot of individual iso ball, a lot of individual, whether it was Taylor or Lynch. But right now they're playing with cohesiveness, moving the ball, finding the open man. Duhart is pushed by Keith Higgins. It'll be the first year and second for the team. Now, as much as they're moving the ball well, they're just three for 13 right now. I'm sorry, Army is three for 13. Six minutes gone by, Duhart kind of left open, makes him pay. Can't let that happen off the screen. Makes it a four point game. Sydney. Nice move. Somewhat of a reverse. He's got four. The leading scorer the last time these two teams played. Starting to make his mark offensively now. Duhart almost a mirror image. Back to back buckets on that side. Back to a four point game. A lot of times Lynch has gone off the roll in the pick and roll, but they haven't found him. He's yet to even get the ball down low. Higgins in traffic. Got it. First bucket, another all-rookie team member. Duhart, feet inside. Peterson. Good defense by Lehigh. Peterson sets a screen. Marcus Wilson had a handful of Shorts was not called in transition. Lehigh unable to make anything happen just yet. Here's Wilson out to Lynch. Three on the way. Short. And out of bounds. They had, similar, they had similar troubles earlier when it came to the fast break. That's, some, that's an area that they have been struggling with as of late. And not something that you want to give up. Reed Fenton will check in. Wearing number 15 for Lehigh. Duhart's going to take a stop picking it up. Around a double screen up top. 
Now sets himself up for three. Got it. He decided to play under the screen, but that frees up the shooter. You need better communication is needed there when those big screens happen. Duhart averages 6.9 a game. He scored the last seven for the Black Knights. Now he's on defense, and Higgins still got it off. Rebound is to Chris Mann. Knights play there on the defensive side. The pickpocket from Higgins. Marcus Wilson. Dominic Parolin is in there, number 35. He wanted the pick and roll. Instead, it was Fenton who got it. Lehigh at a frenetic pace. There's Fenton again. Talk about frenetic pace. They're passing the ball after every couple dribbles. Whitney Sidney shot it from downtown. No good. Parolin got the offensive rebound. This is the ball movement that you definitely like to see early on. Lehigh Merson that three-point lead. Six to shoot. Higgins, he'll put it up in and out. And Mann brings down another rebound. Chris Mann from nearby Phillipsburg, New Jersey. TUA Penn Pet is in that, the official credit union of the Patriot League. So Lehigh has it after Army turned the ball over. Still with that three-point lead. And so far, the defense has been on their heels for Army. Lehigh's been moving the ball well, but here's a travel. Just a little bit of a step <laughs> before putting the ball on the deck. That's all it takes. But it does rule out that three-pointer. Would have made it one for seven. Lehigh is one for six right now, as we mentioned before the game. The 14 threes, second most this season, was really what paced them in that win over the Knights. Rucker with the basketball. He was second team all league, announced earlier this week by the Patriot League. Caldwell received his second straight Defensive Player of the Year award. Peterson down low, working against Parolin up and in. We saw him trying to do the same thing against Nick Lynch. He couldn't get that done, but on Parolin, he is able to push his way through with a nice move. One point game. And a hold to wave anything off. Foul called on Chris Mann. Marcus Wilson, the trigger. Tyler Whitney Sidney in traffic. Tried the awkward angle again. It's going the other way. A lot of contact, and Whitney Sidney's not getting up. If you're Lehigh, you got a foul call timeout right now. This doesn't look good. It was no good, and they do now call timeout. He's grabbing for the back of his head. Probably came down hard, knocked it against the wood. He gets up now. Maybe just more of a scare than anything else. Sure, he'll be uh, attended to as Jake Bellow will check in for the Mountain Hawks. As we mentioned, Whitney Sidney was the leading scorer at 18 last time. Story of this game, though, so far, it's really been Jameer Wilson. Four or five shooting. Almost made that fifth one, too. He has 10 of the 16 points. Whitney City himself has four, and Keith Higgins has the other two. Well, we'll see if now that Whitney Sidney is going to take a little time before, you know, hopefully he'll come back in soon. Higgins Jr. is struggling a little bit, one for five right now. Let's see if the opened opportunity is capitalized on. More pressure in the backcourt and on the inbounds. We are able to break it so far, but this one's going to be tough. And they barely get it across the oh, line. close. Evan Taylor, back to Wilson, thought about it. Spins, lost it. Good defense there by Mann. Duhar finds a seam. Oh, he missed it. A late call, though. That looked like a blown layup at first. He didn't have the best angle to see the contact. 
Dominic Parolin is going to be whistled for his first, the team's third. And Aaron Duhart, a 79% free throw shooter, will have an opportunity to either tie or even take the lead. Duhart on the season, 33 of 42. First one's good. He has the last, either the last eight or eight of the last 10 points for Army as they claw their way back into this, now tied at 16. Quietly the leading scorer. No one else has more than two right now. And Army has the lead. Two for two there for Duhart. The guys 0 for their last three. Nearly turned it over there. Marcus Wilson at the point. Especially with Whitney Sidney being attempted to, although he's now between the coaches. Taylor for three is going to be short. Whitney Sidney back on the bench. Good to see. See how long he stays there. Three ball from Mann. Got it. Just like that. Any kind of. Four minutes and three seconds later. It's been all Army. And this pressure does not let up either. Plenty of time to get it across. Marcus Wilson does. Lehigh, a team that likes to use and take their time there with the shot clock. So that pressure takes away some of that free freedom. Army's in a man to man. Whitney Sidney is back in there. Good to see. He's trying to back it up. Handoff. To Taylor, who finishes. That is such a high IQ move. The cutter, normally you'd see a backdoor pass, but just a simple handoff is all he needed. Right back the other way, Josh Caldwell with four. And that was pretty good defense from Taylor, too. Held his ground for the fake and jumped up with him. Eight and a half to play. Wilson probably had a shot inside. The kick out outside, not answered. They'll have another chance. Here's Wilson driving again. Taylor, pull up, lefty, rattles it in. Taylor's a rhythm shooter. Once he gets that one to fall, it usually leads to a lot more. Army up by two. Here's Mann. A little too much off the glass. Lehigh looking to tie or take the lead. Marcus Wilson inside, shakes the defender. He didn't see the defender Farrell foul. Farrell Wilson in and out. Almost the lead there for Lehigh. Rucker around a screen. Just off the elbow jumper good. Such a good pick and roll ball handler. Because if he's not passing the ball, he's going to have the freedom to pull up. Army up by four. Rucker Def had 18 the last time they played. Merrill Wilson up top, guarded by Chris Mann. In a man-to-man. -man. Taylor for three, off the rim. Mann lost it out of bounds. Matt Marcus, Ryan Braun, glad to have you with us here. Lehigh with the basketball, down by four. Merrill Wilson has 10, had 10 of the first 12. And nice block there by Allen Spock. Rucker, downtown, no good. Whitney City, the rebound. Looks to push a transition. Blocked himself by Cross, who's entered the game. So two hard drives by Lehigh and two impressive blocks by Army. It stays with Lehigh. Plenty on the shot clock, 26. Whitney City might have been better off maybe Waiting for some help there, but can't fault the athleticism and the ag aggressiveness. Higgins near side for three too long. Sky and four by TJ Small, who is anything but. There's and one as Peterson's going to go to the line. Army having their way as of late. <laughs> Nick Lynch picks up his first. Just, but you know, it's his first foul down there in the paint. 
take another look here. Just a little late in reacting. But he's, for the most part, done a really good job at limiting the post-ups by Peterson. Three-point play is finished off. He's got five. And from 16-10, that's a 17-4 run for the Black Knights. The high scoreless almost for about two minutes. Extra pass to the far side, back up top. Now a zone defense with a foul inside, wave off a shot that was not made anyway. The thing I notice the most right now is how fast and quick Army's reacting to each pass around the perimeter. They're trying their best to free up three-point shooters, but they've hit just one for 11 on the game. Charlie Peterson whistled for his second. He's going to come out. Abe Johnson, number 54, checks in. And a big shot from the corner from Evan Taylor for three. He's got seven. It's a four-point game. Rucker was looking for some help. Instead, he gets a foul. And Nick Lynch is going to pick up a big foul so far away from the basket. He's going to come out. Dominic Perlin checks in. You're OK with a second foul if you're battling down low and maybe prevent one of the bigs from getting a bucket. When you're working on a double team so far away, Brett Reed's not going to like that one. And that's really not what Nick Lynch's strengths are either. Talk about strengths. That was Rucker going in. Kicks it out, though. Three-second call. So Lehigh's going to take over. Higgins the trigger. And yeah, Whitney Sidney hounded in the backcourt. Listen, now loose pressure allows Jamero Wilson to bring it across. Going by A.J. Allen Spock. Lehigh may want to use a little more pick and roll game right now with Taylor, but here he is. Back-to-back -back triples for Taylor. Who needs pick and roll when you can pop it like him? Two straight threes from that right wing. He's got 10, two players in double figures. And Lehigh's within one. Here's Rucker backing in. And a steal. Lehigh in transition. Up to Whitney City, hangs in the air, got it to fall. There's the transition ball that we love to see by Lehigh. They struggled a little. Game better than the Black Knights, and that's why this game is here and out on the banks of the Hudson. And as you mentioned, 99 in that league play, they are 6-2 and two to start it off. Rucker's short, maybe Mil Jamara Wilson got a hand on that. Extra pass to Ben Knosman. Thought may, about it. May have had that one. He's more of a distributor than a shooter. Wilson's a shooter, and we're going to get a held ball. It'll stay with Lehigh. Brett Reed calling for a foul, but that's not his job. <laughs> Matt Dove will check in, number 44, the big man for the Black Knights. 14 to shoot for Lehigh. Knosman will be the trigger to Wilson. Got it! Tamara Wilson with 13 points. Still got four minutes in this first half. Lehigh's up by four. It's 11 straight for the Mountain Hawks. After 10 straight a little while ago for the Black Knights. Fade away for Rucker. He faded too much. And then he commits the foul. His start. Starting to get to their spots more, just a more comfortable offense. Breaking the press with ease. In the corner again, Taylor. No oh. good. Offensive rebound. Parallel's going to give him another shot. Whitney Sidney so quick. Oh! I think he lost it out of his hand, more so than a block, but the athleticism both ways. 
I don't know if they're counting how many people were on the floor. There were five and five. That's just a guess on my part, but I don't know what they're doing here. Four seconds. Knosman lost it out of bounds. It was going to be a shot clock violation anyway. A wasted possession for Lehigh. Hey, your guess is as good as mine. They didn't put an extra second. So I'm wondering if they stopped it just to make sure everybody was off the floor. I know Lehigh had gotten excited on their bench. Maybe they thought somebody popped off onto the floor. But yeah, your guess is as good as mine. That's in the past now. Army has not scored in over three minutes. They trail by four. Duhar out to Rucker. Three ball off the iron. Man, fought for it, but it's Evan Taylor who brings it down. Lehigh's been excellent on the rebounding, both on the offense and defensive side. That air ball early on from there, it's been all Lehigh. Parolin gets it to Higgins, Jr., who's back in there. Taylor corner again. Taylor corner again. Things are getting a little hotter right now. His last three makes have been from three. And a 14-0 run was ended by Chris Mann. It's six point lead, a five-point lead high lead. Chris Mann playing a little bit closer defense on Evan Taylor. That one's Tyler Whitney. Sydney and one. Interesting call there considering he may have gotten a push off on the defender, but the referee didn't have the best angle. Either way, let's take another look here. That's a close one. There was as much contact there as that one we talked about a few minutes ago. That's right. This time, the end one opportunity for Tyler Whitney Sydney, who's got eight points. Didn't miss too much time when he hit the deck earlier. Came back a couple of minutes after. Unsuccessful on that one. Stays his seven-point lead. And Will Whitney, Sidney, Wilson, and Taylor combining for more than Army's total right now. And Nick Lynch has not scored. And Duhar, Duhart. Feed to Love in the paint with the left. No good. Rebound is Tyler Whitney, Sidney. Lynch is usually a focal point of the offense. Now hold on. So is Wilson. Say Merrill Wilson, Marcus Wilson, and Nick Lynch play on this floor. There is still an opportunity depending on what else happens. As Caldwell, make that Rucker able to quiet the crowd a little bit. He's got six. Win or lose for Lehigh, this could be the last time at Stabler Arena. And I'm sure that's in the guys' minds right now as they're playing. Just putting their all on effort out there. We commented before that Nick Lynch has not scored. Granted, he's on the bench with two fouls. He's only taken one shot. We're not implying that he's 0 for 9 or anything like that. But he's also done a great job at limiting the post scoring. Four to shoot. Wilson may not know it. Out to Taylor. Three on the way. Does not beat the buzzer. But it's going to stay with Lehigh off the foot of Charlie Peterson. It feels like Lehigh's got more than just two offensive rebounds, more than Army, all these extra possessions going their way. Only two second chance points. And they're not going to get some there. As Taylor was blocked. Well, get another Allen chance. Spock, but yeah. <laughs> It'll be a third opportunity, but it goes in as second chance points if they're able to score. Dominic Carolyn, oh, can't finish. But a great look from Jamero Wilson. It was a great look, and that's unfortunate that he couldn't drop that one in. Rucker, back to back for him. And that's a four point swing. I thought Jamero Wilson had Parolin a second earlier than he actually threw it. But either way, Parolin was wide open there. Just could not get that one to fall. In point blank range. About four second differential, shot clock to game clock. Lehigh could take a lot of it, but not likely to quote unquote hold for the last shot. But they do have a six point lead. Four to shoot. Jamero Wilson 
does get it off, and he rattles it home. Wow. Do hard from half court. Oh. But when it comes to the free throws, not much. Army had the possession arrow, so they start things off here in the second half. Lehigh is in a man-to-man -man defense. Actually more of a zone now. Here's Rucker, drops it off to Peterson down low. Got the cut from Caldwell, can't finish. And Keith Higgins gets the rebound. That was the inside presence that we were talking about with Lynch. It's hard for any player to go up on him. His size and strength really unmatched. Lynch played 11 minutes out of the first 20. And he banks in his first bucket of the night. Had see two his, fouls in that first half. Yeah, and we'll see. Those two fouls kept him out of the game for a little bit, but we'll see if the offense turns up a little for Lynch. Caldwell will wave it off on the floor. It's going to be a hold on Keith Higgins. His second. It is the first for Lehigh in the second half. Army has it down by 11. Can't forget about Jalen Rucker either. Man, maybe got away with a yeah. travel. <laughs> there was Rucker, got to Peterson who lays it in. Same thing we saw in the first half. His shooting was a little slow, four for 11, but now three assists on the game. Teams that have had success over Lehigh this season, a lot of it has been attacking the basket. They've tried but only one of two was successful this half so far. Near steal, and it is, poking away. And Rucker loses it. Nice hustle by Taylor. Maybe too much hustle as he slides in to the stands. A little slow to get up, but does look like he's about to. Even the officials saying, don't worry, don't send anybody out. Take your He's time. going to get up. First Whitney Sidney, now Taylor. These guys are throwing their bodies out here on the line. And with playoff implications, I'm sure you're not surprised either. It was taken away by Army. And then Taylor was about to steal it right back, but it was out of his reach. Probably unnecessarily dove for it. But you do appreciate the hustle. You sure do. I know Coach Reed does. Well, he would appreciate him on the floor, and <laughs> luckily he stayed. Here's Rucker. Oh, in and out. I was Oof. about to say, back-to-back -back buckets. And, then, and that was as far in without scoring two points as I think you can get. I just about accepted that it had went in, so. <laughs> I started saying it. Makes it a seven-point game. Pick and roll action to Lynch, double team. Got a couple guys, there's one. Whitney Sidney. Gets it back, straight away. Got the three ball. You see what happened was when Wilson realized he had the mismatch with Duart on him, the defender didn't want to give too much slack or else he'd post him up. Rucker drives again and banks it in. <gasps> Here's that Rucker just Rucker. making his footprint on this game now. That's his game. He's got 10 first. Black Knight in double figures. Tyler Whitney Sidney now three for Lehigh with double figures. Here's the most. Wilson now with 21. He's going to keep firing whatever they give to him. He's one of those guys that can make it from inside all the way out. Rucker inside. Skips on through. Somehow came out the other end with two more. If Lehigh wants to do something, they're going to have to figure something out to stop Rucker. All he's doing is penetrating, but he's just using that speed and agility to his advantage. Taylor almost lost it and then picks up the foul. And looks to be on Charlie Peterson, his third. It's the first for Army in the second half. Evan Taylor will be the trigger man. Lost it there, as you see, but wasn't too far away. And Peterson going for the ball, got more man. Tyler Whitney, Sydney lays it in. Grabbing on that left hamstring. Hope that's nothing too serious. 
Well, he's got the defense there, and a foul call. That's going to be three on Lynch. And Coach Reed, he's looking at his bench to see if they're going to make any adjustments. Well, you, if you don't make one there, and it looks like Dominic Perlin is going to yeah. check in, you may want to take a quick look at Tyler Whitney Sidney, although he's not limping as much as he was a moment ago. Might bruise a little tomorrow, but he should be okay to stay in for these last important minutes. Charlie Peterson is one for one from the line. Had an and one in the first half. That one is good. Just a 51% free throw shooter. Another instance here of Lynch recovering a little late there for the paint. But that's also what Rucker does. We've seen him score at will in this second half as the second free throw also made. You have to converge on him, you leave somebody open. Exactly, that's what happens when someone is being, well, he's the center of their offense right now, and it doesn't matter, he's been that all season. And it doesn't matter if he's scoring or not. Ball almost knocked out, going the other way. Stay with Lehigh, but. Poked away by Caldwell, yeah. Essentially, all the defensive attention is going to him when he has the ball. And that's what's going to open up free guys. More pressure on the inbounds in the, in the backcourt as Mann is guarding Evan Taylor. Dominic Perlin, Tyler Whitney Sidney looks pretty good out there. Dangerous pass, but picked up. Higgins in the corner. Got it! You were a little frustrated at first by Perlin not getting the open passes slightly earlier. But all it takes is finding the open man when the defense converges. Rucker, make that Caldwell. Josh Caldwell. He's got six. It's a nine-point game. See Perlin in now. He does not shoot the three ball. Taylor does. Oh! Got it! He'll set the screens that open them up. That's what he'll do. Did it right there. Excellent job. Off the rim, off the glass, and through. Taylor has hit four threes now with 16 points. A feed inside to Dub. Working on peril and lost it. Army has done really just as well on offense, hitting five of their last six. Just slot both sides. In the corner is Wilson again. Jamero Wilson backing in, a kick out. Perlin for three, playing the part of Nick Lynch. <laughs> That's incredible. I would mentioned before he doesn't stretch out the range that often. I guess he sure can. Locked out of bounds, it'll stay with Army. Don't want to take away from Perlin. Look, look at this again. He's hit just one, uh, one three this year on four shots. That's his second. Oh, they wanted a travel call on that. Caldwell was able to somewhat keep his dribble. That was close. Caldwell is blocked out of bounds. So what a foul is called. <laughs> I know people are not happy with that, but. As impressive as the block was, there was some body contact, and, and I, I do believe that was the right call. That's the third on Keith Higgins. At the line for Army. Josh Caldwell at the line, 56% free throw shooter. Up and good. See, the first half, Army's got to be, well, first, let's take a look here. Ah. The block was clean. There was body and arm before that. And I think the fans who are right there only saw hand on ball. Yeah, especially because prior to, he had given a little shoulder to the body. But as I was saying, I, Army can't be too disappointed with not that many free throws considering this crowd here. Maryland's three made it a 15-point game. Those two free throws, it's now at 13. Marcus Wilson thought about it. 
Jamero Wilson now. Nice spin, but held up. And it's going to be a foul on Jalen Rucker. When you're five foot ten, there's only so much you can do defensively. And it's not that he didn't do a good job, but when you have such a bigger man trying to post you up, contact is definitely something that you may prefer over a shot. Second foul on Rucker. It is the third for the team. Just about six minutes gone by here in the second half. And another hold and another one on Rucker. And that's going to be his third. So we'll keep an eye on that. One more and you get a little nervous. Jalen Rucker with 12 points. He had eight in the first half. Hit a couple early in the second. He's somebody you definitely want out there. Now oh, Caldwell wow. is going to guard and steal it from Jamero Wilson. Nice bounce pass, but no good for Mollenspach. That was so, the whole setup, that whole play from Caldwell. Defensive player of the year stripping the man who has seven more inches. <laughs> he had another strip uh, right there. What a great play by him, too. He thinks it should be Army basketball. The officials disagree. The no-look pass, I think it was Tyler Whitney Sidney in front of us. The Parolin was about to dunk it with nobody around, and somehow Josh Caldwell came right away. And again, back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards for the senior from Army. Three ball from Wilson in and out. Marcus Wilson tried it from the near side. And it's the stuff like that, the strips. Those don't go on the stat sheet, but very much, if not even more important than some stats that do. Chris Mann lost it. Last touch by Lehigh. It's a 13-point lead for the Mountain Hawks. Army with the basketball, 20 to shoot when they get it in. They do so, T.J. Small. Here's Duhart. Spins a couple times, good defense there by Parolin, and a reach in on Marcus Wilson. He'll pick up his first. Both teams getting a little choppy here. Ben Knosman will check in in place of Evan Taylor. Mentioned Lehigh started six for six in the half, now seven of eight. Technically, they started seven of seven. Driving through was small. Had Duhart in the corner, opted for the two. You don't need to pass that out when you have a vertical like that. Wow. Makes it an 11-point game. Knosman, long pass. Wilson, quick trigger, no good. And Army lost it out of bounds. Not the first time tonight. And that was a good pass, just a little slow. The defense had time to react and get a better contest on that. Lehigh, story of the game, getting another shot here. Just two second chance points, surprisingly. Marcus Wilson. Reed Fenton in there, puts it up and in. Fenton's one of those guys that will quietly make their impact there, driving in, hard take to the hoop. Duhart, playing catch with Peterson. Small on the far side, puts it up for three, long. Fight for the rebound, again letting him play. Marcus Wilson nearby three, no good. Offensive rebound, almost, and yes, will maintain possession. Knosman swings it back to Fenton. Working his way in. Out to Knosman, three on the way, got it! Man, are they feeling it right now? Eight for nine this quarter. Another guy who doesn't normally light it up from deep. Duhart swings it up top to Ban. 11 and a half to play. In the corner, cross for three, short. And Fenton the rebound. Up floor. 
Somehow Whitney City keeps possession and the basket is good. Your needs. I still want to see if they do a custom jersey. Patriot League or Lehigh, that'd be cool. Go to PatriotLeagueStore.com, let me know. Nice move there by Jalen Rucker. Jalen Rucker. still that, in there. Considering that he's been the center, the fact that there was no attention on him is surprising. Whitney Sidney kick out. Cross court to Wilson. 16 to shoot, Knosman pick and roll, but lost it. Somehow maintained possession. Gets it back, he thought about it, six seconds. Spins in the paint, nice move, can't get the angle. Sure was a nice move. And a steal. Harlan comes up with the loose ball, but credit Tyler Whitney Sydney for the dirty work there. They're gonna slow it down a little here. They've been moving up the court all game now. 16-point lead for Lehigh, 10-20 left to play. Winner advances to the semifinals of the Patriot League Championships. Whitney Sydney, the one-handed pass. Marcus Wilson from downtown. First bucket for the fifth-year senior, but a big one. That's what happens when you sag off. And Rucker again. It's the same thing. Let's see if they make any adjustments, whether that's a switch of defenders or possibly we've seen a lot of zone from Lehigh. Lehigh's fine trading threes for Rucker twos, though. With a lead this big already, Al, I'm not too worried. Inside, Perlin. The touch pass from Reed Fenton. And the lead's up to 19, and Jafir Wilson looking to check back in. He's got 21. Rucker gave it away. Three ball from Small rattles it in. Dot or. A Lehigh ball after the Army timeout. And it's going to go to Army. Force the turnover. Down 16. Duhart has it on the far side. He had a big spurt in the first half. In trouble. And a Caldwell bounce pass inside. No good, but a foul called. Charlie Peterson will go to the free throw line. A little late in the defensive reaction. Something that we've seen a few times by a few different people. Parolin picked up his second. It is the fifth for Lehigh. Peterson shooting two. He's three for three. Army's actually yet to miss a free throw today. Eight for eight. By and large, they're not the best shooting free throw team. 62.4 on wow, the season. That's an area they struggle with, actually. And so for them to be hitting all these with the crowd in their face. Now nine for nine. It's impressive. But with nine minutes now, this press, you're going to have to continue to enforce it, try and get some turnovers out of it. They hit three free throws in the first half away from the student sections. That's six right in the teeth of them. And it's one of the best student sections we've seen in a long time. I just curated a stat of the fan section free throws. I love it. Three ball from Taylor is going to be short. And the rebound, Jalen Rucker. Look to push, extra pass in the corner. Caldwell has it. Good job stopping the break there by Lehigh. Nice spin and too short. Marcus Wilson brings it down. In the corner, Taylor has it, had it. Near side, Higgins pops for three, knew it all the way. Two for seven before that shot, just five points, a little quiet today. He's getting his fair share with eight minutes here left to go. Rucker in the paint, 
What else? Talk about a shot creator. Whether it's off the dribble or off a screen, he can penetrate, he can pull up. Just such a talented guy, 5'10". And then Taylor started to drive baseline but brought it back. Harlan, the he, um, Harlan wants the mismatch down low. Sure does. Now he's picked up by Peterson. No longer has it. Evan Taylor spins again. And a third time, short. And 15-point lead is nothing to get comfortable with. With seven minutes left, we've seen even greater leads be dwindled down in these closing minutes of the game. So keeping your foot on the gas is important. Army had a big comeback earlier this year. Is that swatted out of bounds? I'm not sure who got it. I was going to say, maybe a half block for Parolin and Jamara Wilson. Army had a big comeback against Navy. It was the largest comeback in their series. And then shortly after, Lehigh had a huge comeback against Navy as well. 15 to shoot. T.J. Small. Now in is Isaiah Caldwell for the first time. But here's Small, up no good. Lehigh's making it really difficult for Army to get any good looks right now. Isaiah Caldwell, the younger brother of Josh. Freshman, Josh the senior. Both Columbia, South Carolina. Feet inside as Jamara Wilson is going to go to the free throw line. Jalen Rucker, that's his fourth. He has 18 points, not a guy you want to lose out there. I don't think, well, let's see who they sub out before I say anything. But I would imagine with just six minutes left, it's not. Yeah, they're going to leave him in. Charlie Peterson, and number 23, Aaron Duhart. Peterson and Duhart come back in after Jamara Wilson made the first. Peterson's got 11 of his own. Duhart with nine, but Rutgers 18. They're leading the way, so. Dwarfed by the 23 for Jamara Wilson. The 16 by Taylor, 15 by Whitney Sidney. It's really been an all-around effort for the team. There's Rucker driving the lane. Near side, Duhart for three. No good. It's going the other way. This 23 for Jamara Wilson, a new career high. They actually set it at 21. Not a bad way to close out your Stabler Arena career. Sure isn't for the senior. He wants it again. Ooh, thought about it. Kicks it near side. Nice cut there by Higgins, and he finishes it off. Beautiful ball movement. That's what'll happen. You keep the rock moving, you keep yourself moving on without the ball, and eventually someone's gonna cut in with an open look. A pass that was waiting for him when Higgins got there in the paint. Rucker tried to go in the back door. And eventually picks up the foul. Rucker with 20, maybe I'm sorry, 21 shots attempted. No other player on Army has 10. He's sort of taken this offense under his wing. Rightfully so, but when you're shooting 9 for 20, it's not Par the most efficient. Carolyn picks up his third foul at 6 now on Lehigh. And Rucker no good. First miss of the evening. Look at this move. Almost made it the first time. But it was the second opportunity that drew the foul. Hits the second. He's got 19. 18 the first time here. A couple weeks back. When one player is running the offense, it makes it a lot easier to play defense, though. mishap here in the backcourt. You do have to get it across. Have to get it with a couple seconds and a long pass easily does that. And Whitney Sidney tried to muscle his way in. Parolin the second chance no good. But a late foul called. 
to the dismay of Josh Caldwell in front of us. We've been waiting to see it all game where they're able to break the press and create that outnumbering on offense. Finally able to get a little bit of that there. TJ Small picks up his first, the team's sixth. Parolin will be shooting two, 70% on the season. And you can see why. Knocking down the free throws. He hit a three before. Sometimes it's the easiest ones that are the hardest to connect on. No Nick Lynch for a little bit. I don't think he's subbed in, actually, at all the second half. Early on, but he picked up his third foul, and ah, that's we, right. we haven't seen much. We've seen a lot of Rucker. He rolled that in now, 21 points. On 21 shots. <laughs> He's been active. Nobody else has. Well, Caldwell has nine. The high after that is five in terms of attempts. But time is winding down. An 18-point lead for the Mountain Hawks. Four and a half. Jamero Wilson. No good. Duhart tracks it down. From deep, Rucker, no good. Wilson, the box out. Maybe a little bit of a push, but the ball to Lehigh. Four fifteen left. And off to Tyler Whitney Sydney. Inside to Parolin. Could have sworn he took about seven steps underneath, <laughs> but either way, it's going to go now <laughs> At least. up Florida Army. As Caldwell blocked. Oof. Lehigh split with Colgate earlier this year. They're a team to be reckoned with, though. Most certainly. It's a very different team than early in the Patriot League season. Rucker, the turnaround, Oof. as pretty as can be. 340 and a 16-point lead. Last thing you want to do is make any mistakes if you're Lehigh. Charlie Peterson came down hard on his elbow. Looks like he's shaking that off. Might have been the funny bone. But see if he needs to raise that hand and that arm on defense or offense. He's still out there. Looks to be in better shape now. He's all over the place with this. Zone defense for to shoot, taken away. I guess who? Caldwell. The pretty finish. <laughs> those points per game that he averages, double digits. I wonder how many of those are just off fast break steals. There's another steal. That one was Rucker, but the block again. The tag team. That was <laughs> of Wilson and Parolin. They gave Parolin the first one. That's a foul, I guess, on on Jamero Wilson. So no official block shot, but maybe mark one down in the scorebook because that, that was with authority. So this could cut it to 12. And then after which you would want to get a stop and presumably, if you could score, cut it to single digits with Newhart two is two for two today. Came in at 79%. Again, as a team, they've only missed one. Now 11 of 12. Over 90% for a team that shoots under 63%. And as you said, it is a 12-point game. Marcus Wilson will check in for Dominic Parolin. So Lehigh's going to go a little smaller on this lineup. Usually we'd see Nick Lynch, but as you said, the smaller lineup to be faster, presumably, is the goal. There was a pretty fast for Evan Taylor. Sure was. He's got 18. Lehigh beat that press with ease. Rucker straight away for three. No good. Got his, actually, that's Caldwell with the rebound. Put back good. He's got 12. He just reads the court different than everybody else. He saw where that ball was going to go and just made a move. Lead is 12. Under two and a half to play. Army needs some stops. Can't be trading buckets at this juncture. 
And Lehigh definitely wants to take their time. In the hands of Higgins, seven to shoot. He does. Tried to bank it in, no good. Here's that chance for Armory to get a little closer. Three ball from Small off the back iron. That would have been a big shot. And a foul out. The other thing to keep in mind is that the Colgate game will be on the road. So as much as we love this Lehigh home crowd, we will not have the benefit of that. Marcus Wilson nails them both. His last appearance here as a fifth-year senior, he's got five. It's a 14-point game with a minute 42 left. Rucker behind the line, trying to create some space, and now starts to dart in. Pull-up jumper, high arcing. It'll be an offensive rebound for Chris Mann. Pulls up from the corner, got it. Chris Mann grew up about 20 minutes away, Phillipsburg, New Jersey. He's going to pick up the foul there, his second. And it looks like Marcus Wilson heads back to the free throw line. Minute 21 away from the semis. As you mentioned, to the number one seed going up to Colgate. Still in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Marcus Wilson hits that one. Second game of the league schedule, Lehigh beat Colgate right here, 85-81. Colgate got the better of them up in Hamilton, 78-62. Eighty seconds left. Man from the other side, off the iron, and the rebound goes to Lehigh, and Army will continue to foul. Coach Reed can really be satisfied with his team's effort tonight. I'd say from the start, they came out with the intensity, backed by a crowd that had them and still has them here, going hard with some chance of the incredible performance here, sending the Army team home. Evan Taylor hits the first. He's got 19. He was third team all league, as was Nick Lynch for Lehigh. We have not seen much of Lynch, just 15 minutes, two points. Well, if it's worth anything, he does get a little extra rest for that game Sunday. And They'll well, definitely be a factor in that one. The consolation is you're still winning going away without Nick Lynch. Small's no good. A foul on the rebound attempt against Lehigh will be on Tyler Whitney Sidney. But it also goes to show the depth of the team, especially not for the rest of you know the games or games in which he's fouling and getting into trouble. But next year, Nick Lynch, he'll be off and on his way. So. Dominic Parolin showing that he can step in and be a force on the inside, and as we saw, the outside. <laughs> step out as well. No good from Caldwell on the one and one. It's gonna stay with Army after the ball got away. Caldwell now has taken double digit attempts, the first Outside of Rucker, who's 11 for 25. Duhart has it. Swings to man. Good closeout by Marcus Wilson. Duhart for three. A little short. Keith Higgins has it. They're going to play defense, but not foul yet. Marcus Wilson gets it across the line. And there's a reach and foul. Looks to be TJ Small will pick up his second. And now the double bonus, so two free throws for Marcus Wilson, who's hit four for four in the last minute or so. That one unsuccessful. Another thing that we'll also watch both the rest of this season, but also in the following years, will be the development of these young guys. 
Keith Higgins Jr. and Whitney Sidney, as you mentioned, both on the rookie teams in the, uh, in the Patriot League. That was something that really excites Coach Reed, too. There's a three ball from Rucker, 26 for him in his final game this season. Just a sophomore, he's going to be a force for the next couple of years. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Foul called on Chris Mann. Just thinking of the battles between <laughs> Rucker and Lehigh that are coming down. It's a 13 point game. Crowd would rather Army stop fouling. Yeah. I would think from here on out, maybe the next time Lehigh gets the ball, but you never know. You would think so, but let it sink in. That one rattles out. Wilson with nine. But as we were talking about, when you have young talent like this, that is really the future of your team. It excites you. It creates a really optimistic environment heading into this offseason, knowing you have pieces to build around. And this is with guys that are still yet to come. Duhart no good. Evan Taylor got it, was falling out of bounds. Up floor to Tyler Whitney Sidney. He's going to try to lay it in. Could have run out the clock, but here's Rucker for three. No good. Fight for the rebound. Tyler Whitney City lost it out of bounds. And we will just delay the inevitable with 6.1. A 14 point lead. And Small missed it. Evan Taylor has it. And the Mountain